what is happening what is going on welcome to the channel welcome back to the channel so what i'm going to do in this video is it's going to be a bit of a tutorial but i'm going to show you just how to create cinematic lighting with just one lighting source in blender so it's actually pretty easy and yeah hopefully you learn a few things you can get some nice lighting you can get some nice results using this lighting method and i'll just talk a little bit about it and yeah hopefully you use it it's pretty cool for like product stuff and you know you could use it even in in cinematic kind of scenes but yeah let's jump into a scene okay so i've got a scene here you can see the first thing you obviously want to do is you want to create like a backdrop uh, just to keep the light in and it just looks a little bit better it uh it will help your scene so i'll show you how to do that quickly i'm just going to delete that backdrop and it's pretty easy to do so shift a mesh get a plane s let's scale it up something like that then you're going to hit tab and you're going to go to yeah so you're going to click on there and then you're going to click there and hit e and bring this up then you're going to click here and go Control b and then just bring your mouse like that and then roll your scroll wheel on your mouse and then hit tab again right click shade smooth now you've got a nice looking backdrop you can scale it it's completely up to you and that's what it looks like so now you obviously set up your camera and we've got an object here and this is what we're going to light so if i go here everything is dark because my world and yeah that's what you want for that nice cinematic lighting now let's go back here and we're going to get a light in okay so go shift a and you get different kinds of lights you can get the three point lighting i'm going to just use one light to light the scene and normally the best for that kind of thing is an area light point light i've made a tutorial on the different light scenes you can feel free to check it out but point light is almost like a light bulb sunlight it's the sun most powerful spotlight is more it's basically like a directional cone like it says there and an area light is what's used to light you know those you know when you do like interviews and those kind of things you use an area light or if you're doing like a youtube studio and you're like doing a talking head video you use an area light normally and it's like that soft box so i'm going to use this you can see it's over here so i'm going to go x g and bring it up okay and then go to z basically what we want is we want to go to g like this and we want to bring it in front of the object so you can see there it's in front and then bring it down something like that okay and then what we're going to do is go s and we're going to scale it up because we want a bigger area we don't want it to be we want it to because it's lighting it's only using one light you want it to be pretty you want the size of it to be pretty big and then we're going to go r twice and rotate it like that so that it faces the object and now it's obviously too close so go z g and bring it like that and then let's have a look now so r again we want to rotate it something like that and sometimes you just got to play around until you find it so you want it to be facing the object and something like that looks good and then you can make it s you can bring it a little bit smaller and now let's have a look and you can see there now obviously it's way too dim so you're going to go to click on your light so area light and you're going to go here and you're just going to bring it up a little bit okay a little bit more and you can see now we're starting to light it you got that nice shadow here and maybe i'd say about 50 will look pretty good you can see yeah, i'm just going to go like this so we can see a bit better and you can see it has been lit pretty well you know obviously your plane the material you can make it dark if you bring it dark you'll see there this also affects what it'll look like but you can see there look how nice it already looks just with the light in there and you can see you can obviously change the color but i, I when you're doing this kind of lighting setup with a one with one point lighting for like a cinematic scene this is this is perfect and you can see there is a bit of you know there's a bit of shadow here and you can't see everything but a lot of times this is well used for for these kind of kind of scenes and if i do this 
and you want it to be hitting from the side, you, you could let it hit from the front. And I could go like that and go G. Let's just do again one more. So Shift A, I'm just going to show you what it will look like if you light it from the front. So area light, G, bring it to the front. S, let's get it to about the same size. Then X, G, then go R, so we can rotate it forward. So it will face the object like that. And then let's hide this first area light. You can see everything is dark and you can see now I'll bring this up to about 50, the same strength as the other one. You can see it doesn't look as nice. It's it's facing the object. You can obviously see the object a lot better, but let me show you. So this is this one. I hide this one like that. So what I would rather do is I'd rather bring the strength up to about 80. Or even you can make it even 150. It's a bit bright. Okay, it's a little bit too bright, so 100. And that looks a little bit better in my opinion compared to this. This just looks, yeah, I don't know. I just, I prefer, prefer lighting it from the side. So that's what I mean by, you only need one light. And you obviously get that shadows. I'm going to hide this one. You get that shadows with, with this light. But it looks, for me it looks a little bit better. Like I said, you could always just add another full light here. If you really wanted to. But for me, this looks, this looks good. And it looks cinematic. You license it cinematically. And you could always change that. You could change. It basically just changes the type of light. So it makes it like a circle ellipse. And you can then change the size like that. Can bring it in and we could have a look that also looks quite nice it gives a little bit more features yeah i still got that nice shadow but yeah hopefully this video helped you hopefully i'm just gonna go back to square and something like that it looks good so yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you learned thing or two about lighting lighting is crucial in in 3d lighting is crucial in photography videography films all that kind of stuff lighting is it's probably the most important thing to get right and i love i love one of this is one of my favorite things about 3d is is, is the lighting and playing around with lighting to get a feel that you want in your in your render so hopefully you enjoyed the video feel free to check out blender kit link in the description and yeah check out my patreon supports me in the channel but if you haven't subscribed, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace.